Good evening. Before we start the flag salute, I'd like to uh, point out a few things that we have here in the United States that are pretty amazing for our country. And one of those is the freedoms and are the freedoms that we have both to live our life and to do what we please. And it's also important to realize that as part of that freedom of speech, that gives us the ability not only to stand when we're recognizing the flag, but also not to stand when we're recognizing the flag. And that freedom of speech also extends to the city council to point out that it is a sign of respect to stand for the flag and to let people know all the wonderful benefits that we've had. And when you take a look at it, we have a country that has afforded us with so many benefits and so many freedoms. We have the economic freedom to turn around and do commerce as we need to, to do all the things that we want to, to live our lives prosperously and to do things for our children. We have the freedom to uh, have a safe country where we can come and go as we please, and we have people defending us at all times, making sure that we're allowed to have those freedoms and those rights. And we also have the right to criticize our government and to stand with our government. This is the most wonderful forum to do that because this is a level of politics that is local, and it gives those people the opportunity to show the freedoms that we have. In a couple of weeks, we're going to be having Veterans Day. And on Veterans Day, we'll be honoring those who serve and defend our country and defend our country to the point of being able to stand for the flag salute and not stand for the flag salute. And I'm honored to serve with two gentlemen who have fought very bravely for our country and to give us the opportunity to live the life that we do in the United States and in Mission Viejo. And as we go forward, I think it under, it's important to understand that all the work that has been done to get us here commands the respect it commands respect not only for ourselves to honor those who have served with us, but also to give respect and thanks to the country, which has given us these wonderful benefits that anybody in the entire world would give their eye teeth to come and live for. So for those of you who are so inclined, please stand and join with me in honoring both our flag and our country. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So our next speaker, uh, public comments, Al Holgren. Good evening, Council. My name is Al Holgren. I am an atheist, humanist, and free thinker. My wife of 26 years and I have both lived in Mission Viejo since 1992, where we still are raising our family today. We will always be a part of this ever-changing community. At the last city council meeting, during the Pledge of Allegiance, one of the city council members made a wonderful speech regarding our freedoms. And one of those freedoms is to stand or not to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. He also reminded us of these freedoms which extends to the city council to remind us, the residents of Mission Viejo, that it is a sign of respect to stand for the flag and to let people know the wonderful benefits that we have by standing up for the flag. The council member also pointed out other city council members who are also veterans, which have served in our military, that have fought for our freedoms. I would also like to remind council, every time you see us sit in our seats during the Pledge of Allegiance, that we are in fact honoring and respecting our soldiers and those who have fought before them. We are also honoring the not so recognized soldiers like NFL player turned soldier Pat Tillman, an atheist who died for this country in the mountains of Afghanistan. We are sitting and showing our respect for every atheist in the foxhole, humanist and free thinker veteran who served and is currently serving for this great country. On June 14, 1943, the Supreme Court ruled on the case West Virginia State Board of Education versus Barnett. Students do not have to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance in class. At the end of the case, Judge Robert H. Jackson said, Authority here is to be controlled by public opinion, not public opinion by authority. Jeff Mason, a fifth grade teacher at Highland Elementary School in Reedsman, Oregon, who battled for his students not to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, famously wrote, no coercion, intimidation, or ridicule of any kind will fall on those that elect not to participate in the pledge. Although you may see my wife and I sitting during the Pledge of Allegiance and religious invocations, it may seem to you as a sign of disrespect to our wonderful troops, but it is not. Always remember 
by on by we are honoring all of our all of our soldiers, even atheists in the foxhole, by exercising a right not to stand for the pledge or any religious invocation. Thank you. Thank you, Al. 